A woman from Derby has been caught up in a huge volcanic eruption that has forced thousands of people out of their homes. Sue Grant moved out to St Vincent, the Caribbean island where her parents were born. Sue's sister Pam is coordinating aid collections from her home here in Elverston, as our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. The terrifying power of the La Soufrière volcano has left St Vincent caked in ash. Up to 20,000 people have had to flee their homes. The dust has actually settled, it's rained on it and set it into concrete. This is what happened to Sue's house and garden. It's um, ruined all the beds. She moved to the island three years ago after spending most of her life in Derby. We had fireballs uh, zooming across the sky in oranges, yellows and all different colours, but they actually felt like they were coming to you. Um, this uh, eruption has left absolute devastation in this country. What's happening, babes? Very, very emotional the smoke, the dust is getting to me. Sue's sister Pam is here at Alveston in Derby. I wish I could hug you, I wish I could be there to just lift you up and bring you out of St Vincent. Pam was born in St Vincent. She's sick with worry. I pray that, you know, that God will cover the island and that people will be safe. So for me, it's people being safe. Some people haven't got no water, lights are being affected. It is hit me hard because it's my home. The volcano is still erupting after five days, so now a desperate appeal for help. Rising to the challenge, volunteers here at Radford in Nottingham. The island's under a Commonwealth rule, so we have to do our bit uh, as a nation and um, me personally as a descendant to make sure that, that the people, including my mother back home, that is actually working on the front line. And we're talking in the midst of a COVID pandemic. So there, anything that we can do to help, we should be doing. Hot dogs, we've got things for the children. And back in Derby, Those Pam's there. been flooded with offers of help. Everything from tents and torches to nappies Water. and PPE. We haven't forgotten them. We haven't forgotten them, so what? We're doing our best, you know, to get stuff to them. My neighbours have been so good as well. But we will rise again. For now, it's volcanic ash that's rising from St Vincent, and the help from people here should make a huge difference. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today.